Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about a feature about the X100V that I've been using a lot lately that I really didn't know existed until about a month ago. That feature is the fact that this camera makes a pretty good webcam. In this video we're going to talk about how to set that up and how to get the best quality out of it. Let's go. When the pandemic first hit, I relied mostly on the camera in my MacBook Pro. Now that camera is okay, but as a photographer, as someone who cares about images and how things look, that camera quickly just did not work for me. I needed something better. I had my Canon EOS R camera that I used, but to get that set up, it required so many ports and it required so many extra things. So to get that working, I needed an HDMI cable from the camera into a, a receiver called the Elgato Camlink 4K. That receiver goes into a dongle, which then goes into my computer. Now that allows me to transmit video from my camera into my computer. The next thing I had to do was power the camera. Because I had meetings sometimes for three or four hours a day, I cannot rely on the battery because it lasts maybe two hours or two hours and a half and maximum that's it, it dies. I needed to buy an external battery brick that I connected into my camera, a dummy battery, and the other end of the brick goes into a wall. That's all for getting the audio and video into my computer. It required a dummy battery and it required a HDMI cable with an Elgato cam link and a dongle. That setup worked for a while and I really liked it. The problem was everything became very cluttered very fast. There were a lot of wires everywhere and I'm someone that is a neat freak and likes to keep my desk super clean and minimal. And I knew I wanted to slim down but I didn't really know what to do or what I could get. Now, I've had the X100V for a long time. The other day I was on Twitter and I saw a post about someone who was using it as a webcam. And I thought, wow, like if that could work, this little camera is so much smaller than the other one and the wires would all go away. So I looked into it and I realized that the beauty of that camera is that you only need one cable to do everything. And that's a simple USB-C cable. With that one cable, you can charge the battery and transmit data at the same time, which is awesome. That eliminates all the wires that were there before and keeps it very, very simple. So my new setup is I have this little tripod that I put the X100V on top of and I connect a USB-C cable from my camera all the way into my computer's other end. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Now, in order to get this to work, you have to, number one, download Fujifilm software, which requires a computer restart. And once you have that set up, all you have to do is connect your camera in and turn it on and it automatically will recognize the fact that it's connected. Once you open your Zoom app, if you go to your preferences and click on video, you will see the Fujifilm as an option you can select there. And once you pick it, the camera's video feed will stream and show. There it is. It's that easy. All you have to do is just put the camera on in front of the Zoom, and boom, it just appears. Yeah, I mean, the video itself looks great i'm in classic chrome i got all that bokeh all that you know beautiful colors obviously i'm in there so it's a good shot yeah this is a beautiful shot the reason i like this number one is because of the simplicity it just requires one wire number two is the connectivity it has not let me down so far i've used it for about a week as the webcam exclusively and so far, it's not disconnected or the battery hasn't died. It just seems to work. Every time I take the wire out at the end of a workday, I look at the screen in the back, full battery. This is not possible with the Canon camera. You need to recharge the battery or at least have a dummy battery if you intend to use it for a long period of time. The third benefit is the fact that you get the film simulations. You can do classic chrome, Eterna, whatever you really want, and it's gonna be there. Whatever the camera is showing in the back of the screen is what gets transmitted via the wire into the zoom feed. All in all, I found this to be a pretty seamless and very nice solution to a problem that I had, and I wanted to kind of share it with you all because I'm not sure that you all are aware that you could use this camera as a webcam. Another great thing about this camera is that because the autofocus is so good, it doesn't hunt. So it just basically locks on 
and I never see it hunting or pulsing or anything like that. It just seems to be a straight feed. It works great. I've gotten some great compliments on it so far. Um, all in all, I love how the image out of this thing looks and I love how simple it is to use. And I love this camera before, but now because of this new feature, I'm gonna use it even more than I was before. Yeah, if you were on the fence about like whether or not to get it, as a webcam, know that you definitely can. It'll work pretty flawlessly as long as you have a Mac. I've not tested it for Windows. I don't believe in Windows at all. So if you have a Windows, then I, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> sorry for your pain. If you guys have any questions about how to use it as a webcam or my experience with it, please let me know. Happy to help anybody who has any issues. Thank you so much for subscribing and I will see you in the next one.